Hi there, and tonight's unboxing is probably the most epic thing I've done since the, uh, well, for me, since the Halloween set came out. So, uh, in a second, we'll get right to it, and, uh, guys, I have such sights to show you. When Arrow announced that they were putting out some uh, some epic stuff, uh, one thing in particular I was on here uh, to talk about it for uh, for quite a while, and that would be the uh, the Scarlet Box. And uh, going in depth and talking about exactly what was going to be during the Scarlet Box was actually one of my more popular videos recently. And today I can get a little bit more in depth because it has finally come. And um, I was a little peeved at first because it didn't come when uh for Halloween, but uh. I got it and I own it and it's epic and, it's and arrow. You'll see. Anyway, so it came with this here postcard. Sorry, I'm late. Traffic has been hell. I love this and it's a good sense of humor for them that basically do this to let us know that uh, you know, oops, we made a mistake. Didn't get out there when we went right when we went. So here have the arrow. Came like a pinhead, a pin actually a pin, and uh, it's just a bonus thing that they put in there. I'm not sure if everybody got that, but I think the people that ordered directly from Arrow actually got that there. Uh, if you ordered from uh, Amazon and got it, let me know. Uh, I think it was just the Arrow release that uh, <clears throat> actually got the extras for that one. So here's the Scarlet Box itself. It has, uh, of course, great illustration of Pinhead on there, 1, 2, and 3. And here we have Hellraiser, Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, and Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. I don't think I've ever seen Hellraiser 3 with a decent uh, Blu-ray print, so uh, be interesting to see how it goes. We have it here, so it's we have one, two, and three. And let's just open up and see. So when you open up the box, it kind of just it lifts off like this. So it has this, uh, and to let you know, it is a sturdy box. They really started to do these really like really kind of cool sturdy boxes, which I like. So, the first thing you get is uh, number one, and you turn around, and we got the pinhead forehead there, and it comes with a Hellraiser Blu-ray number one. We'll actually get into uh, what's on these here <clears throat> in a little bit. Next up, we have uh, number two, and uh, here we see uh, the chatter. Love the artwork on this. Of course, is Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, with the infamous Surgeon scene. We also have number three, and I like the fact that it's got the Lamont configuration on it. And, ta da, gotta love that. And this is Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. This one gets uh, <clears throat> the most flack out of all the films in, in the uh, original trilogy. Next up, we have this, and this is, uh, of course, from Hellraiser uh, 3. But what's in this? Well, this is the Clive Barker Legacy disc that's only available in this set. And uh, <clears throat> this is like the, the main, one of the main reasons for grabbing this set. There's more, trust me. But this is one of the reasons that want to have this set in your collection. This Legacy di this set is, is just incredible. Next up comes the... Uh, Documents of Blood, and uh, this gets really cool, actually. So first off, I'll let you see the promo uh, card that I got, and I got it for the Black Cat, which is actually kind of cool, because the last uh, Arrow release that I picked up was the Black Cat. It has the, uh, some of the new releases there from Arrow on there. So you see what some of the stuff they are, they've got coming out are. And uh, there's a few there that I, that I want myself. Next. It's the poster, and it's a double-sided poster, so let's uh, open this up here and see what it looks like.
I'm actually extremely excited to see this. I'm trying to be very, very careful with it. All right, here we go. So we've got Pinhead on here, the new artwork. And we actually have different art. Pinhead here on the other side. And I actually love both here. I kind of like the one with the Lament configuration on the background. Those just kind of gives me the Hellraiser feel a little bit more. But uh, that would be epic <clears throat> all alone right there. But now, now comes the cards. Yeah, Hellraiser postcards. So I'm showing my better half some guys. So on the first off, on the back one, there's like the actually our postcards. And we have a pinhead right here. Some awesome stuff. These are beautiful art cards. I kind of wish and I do hope that they'd get the rights to the other films and actually put them out in subsequent box sets. I would love to have all the Hellraisers in this uh, here series like that. Good old Frank. And next up is the book. This booklet here basically is uh, illustrations of basically concept art. Never before seen concept art from Hellraiser. So we'll open it up here and we'll see. See some incredible artwork. So kind of a different look for a character there. Kind of like that with the apron. This really does have some gorgeous art. Right now, I'm just trying to let you guys soak this in and not really say too much. Like the visuals kind of do the uh, speaking for themselves. It's like a little comic book. So, panels basically, storyboards. That's right, Clive Barker is an artist, so. Actually, some when I was waiting to get the set, <clears throat> I was watching a couple of videos. I actually had to like uh, fast forward through this portion of the video because I did not want to see the book and the art things until I actually got them myself. So um, everybody's videos that I watched on this before, and I did watch it quite a few. I, had to, I was always fast forwarding through this part of the video, and I'm glad I did because it is amazing. Uh, again, the And uh, we have last but not least, definitely, is the uh, is the book, The Damnation Games. And this is amazing, guys. It's a hardbound book uh, done for merit. It's 200 pages. And we're looking at some great, there's some great reading on the inside. So what do we got here? Exactly. Well, we have Surgeons of God, Steps on the Forbidden Path to Hellraiser, Hellraiser Press Kit, Hellraiser Faustus Endures, Hellraiser, Hellraiser 2 Press Kit, Hellbound in another underworld. Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth press kit. Hell on Earth, Pinhead Unbound. Pinhead a study in Scarlet. Acknowledgements and about the restorations. So, uh, wondering if it has the information on the on each of these films in here. Because I did have the thing, but I'm not sure. I just should bring it in. Good. So, some. Thank you, sweetheart. Amazing stuff on the inside here. We have some great illustrations. Won't go through them all because I'm sure that all you guys have the, uh, or if you don't have it, you're looking at picking up it. Well, not this book. If not this book, uh, not this one here. Uh, this one's going to be kind of expensive now. I think uh, on eBay it actually goes for crazy prices, which is insane. Everybody should be able to get the edition that they want without having to pay through the nose for it. But then again, I know exactly what that feels like because when I bought a, when my better half bought me a video, video drone, I definitely didn't get that for the, uh, for the price that was really set. So it has some great, great stuff. Over 200 pages of reading in here. And of course we have this here. So that you guys can see it. Yeah, 
That's really cool. So I'm going to put this back here, and then I'm going to let you guys know about all the features that are on it. Every one of these here. <clears throat> I'm uh, honestly blown away by what they did with this set. The arrow went above and beyond with uh, everything that they did here. This may have taken a while to get to us, but man, what a package we got when it finally came. And I'm looking forward to actually really diving into this here. So what am I actually diving into? Well, here it goes. It's a four disc collector's edition. <clears throat> and uh, first off, you should know that there's brand new 2K restorations on all three films. Uh, we have a exclusive 200 page book, limited edition bonus disc, which is as we saw on there. And uh, well, let's get into it. Hellraiser, the first disc has a brand new restoration. We've got an auto commentary with Clive Barker, auto commentary with Barker and Ashley Lawrence. So there's two of them there. Leviathan, the story of Hellraiser, a brand new version of the definitive documentary on the making of Hellraiser featuring interviews with key cast and crew members. Uh, being Frank, Shank, Sean Chapman on, on Hellraiser. Actor Sean Chapman talks candidly about playing the character of Frank Colton and Cotton. Frank Colton. Frank Cotton and, and Barker's original. Soundtrack Hell, the story of the abandoned coal score. Uh, Kyle, Kyle member, I'm really excited about this, you know. Stephen Thrower on the Hellraiser score that almost was. Hell, Hellraiser Resurrection, Vintage Featurette including interviews with Clive Barker, Doug Bradley, Ashley Lawrence, special makeup effects artist Bob Keane, Under the Skin, Doug Bradley on Hellraiser. We, have, we got the original EPK kit here with Ed's on set interviews with cast and crew, uh, draft screenplays as, uh, as well, trailers and TV spots, and image gallery. Uh, Hellbound Hellraiser 2, we got, of course, and again, another brand new 2K restoration, auto commentary with the director, Tony Randall, and writer Peter Atkins. Auto commentary with Randall Atkins and actress Ashley Lawrence. Always two commentaries there, right? Leviathan, the story of Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, brand new version of the Fino documentary on the make of Hellbound, featuring interviews with the key cast and crew members. Being Frank, Sean Chapman on, Hell, on Hellbound, actor Sean Chapman talks about reprising the role of Frank Cotton in the first Hellraiser sequel, The Surgeon Scene. Now, a lot of people are excited about this, myself included. Home, world video, home video world premiere of this legendary, never before seen. Excise sequence from Hellbound, sourced from a VHS work brand. It's going to be really interesting. Check that out. Lost in the Labyrinth, a vintage featurette, including interviews with Barker, Randall, Keane, Atkins, and others. Under the Skin, Doug Bradley, and Hellbound, Hellraiser 2. On set interviews with Clive Barker, on set interviews with cast and crew, behind the scene footage, rare and unseen storyboards. Again, draft screenplay on the, uh, the Blu ray DVD content, uh, trailers and TV spots, image gallery. Next up is Hellraiser. Is third disc is Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. Brand new 2K restoration of the original theatrical version, which is 93 minutes long. There's an alternate unrated version, which is 97 minutes long. Used kind of used as branching to uh, show the unrated scenes. Uh, they did try to show do them on discs before, like on a kind of a Blu-ray. But uh, actually what they did was they kind of <clears throat> cut part of the scene, cut part of the... Uh, the, the image to make it look like they enhanced it when actually had they hadn't. From uh, that's what I've heard from uh, different people on here. Uh, we have the uh, auto commentary with director Anthony Hickox and Doug Bradley. How on earth the story of how are through making a documentary feature at features Atkins, Keen, and actor Ken Carpenter. Tom with Terry, brand new interview with actress Apollo Marshall. Under the skin, Doug Bradley and how are three hell on earth raising hell on earth. Archival interviews with Hickox on site. Unset interviews with Barker and Bradley. Here before seeing Hellraiser 3 FX Daily, so that's going to be interesting too. Tactical trailer, image gallery, and Hellraiser 3 comic book adaption is on the disc here. So you, got, you can actually read the comic book as well. Uh, disc 4 is the Clive Barker Legacy, that's a limited edition exclusive. And it's uh, Clive Barker's short film, Salome and Forbidden. We've got Books of Blood and Beyond, the literary works of Clive Barker. Horror author David Gatwell provides a tour through Barker's written work, from the Books of Blood to the recent Scarlet Gospels. Hellraiser Evolution is a brand new documentary looking at the evolution of the hit horror franchise and its enduring legacy. Featuring interviews with Scott Derrickson, director of Hellraiser Inferno, Rick Boda, director of Hellraiser Hellseeker, Debtor and, and Hellworld, Stuart Gordon, director of Reanimator from Beyond and Others, and the Hellraiser Chronicles Question of Faith, a short film. Basically, Hellraiser Chronicles was done by uh, an independent of uh, like fans of Hellraiser who were trying to show that it would be possible to do a Hellraiser uh, kind of a uh, a TV series, kind of an anthology one. So I did this kind of 40-minute like uh, pilot. 
and uh, it's on here as well. And of course, the 200 page Damnation Games Limited Edition exclusive. Uh, needless to say, the uh, Hellraiser Scarlet Box is the box set of the year. Uh, <clears throat> there's some great stuff coming out this year that uh, a lot of people are fans of. I gotta take this out because I put the book in wrong. And, uh, but I don't think there's anything out there that's gonna, that can remotely touch what's, uh, what this is. And I guess it all depends on what you're into. But for me, um, this can't be topped. Uh, not this year, anyway. We'll see what uh, how Arrow raises this game next year. I am looking forward to, like most people, their uh, upcoming uh, edition of a uh, uh, fantastic uh, kind of a uh, what's it, the American horror set that they got coming out. I'm gonna leave this like that. I'm actually really, really, really looking forward to that. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, how they do that one. I'm gonna move these around a bit. I'm gonna change this up so I can see it a little bit differently. Yeah, I like that a little better. So, Hen, what do you think of the Hellraiser box set? She gave it a thumbs up, even though you didn't see her, and she's very Quiet for a change, but uh, here it is. Hellraiser, the uh, the Scarlet Box. I uh, was very excited to get this. I'm still actually extremely excited to look into this tonight. I'm definitely gonna be watching. I'm probably gonna watch the documentary on the Legacy Disc about the uh, about the other films, because as much as I want to see the original three films again, what I really want to see are the films that kind of hear about the films that weren't meant to be originally the Hellraiser films that weren't quite as good as uh, as some of the other ones but I had fun with it's gonna be interesting it's always interesting to hear about the films that didn't do as well as the films that are, are classics uh, especially for me so I hope you guys enjoyed this I, I did and I got this this morning I actually got the uh, thing in the mail last last night on Sunday for this here but by the time we got over there it was uh, it was closed hopefully my friends, you have gotten the Scarlet Box and are enjoying it right now as much as I plan to do later tonight. Thanks for watching. For me right now, it is time for tea and uh, it's just an epic night. I wanted to say something Hellraiser, -y, but uh... It's just been epic. Thanks for watching. Say hello to my better half, who's silent over there playing your video game. My cat, who looks to be watching TV. And there's nothing on the screen. And uh, me, who's uh, about to dive into the uh, world of Clyde Barker's Hellraiser. Hopefully you are too. Have a good night.